Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about the 10 roofing materials you should consider for your next roof. Let's get started. So I'll tell you a little bit about myself and I've also got a big favor to ask from you guys. So obviously we try to give you the best information possible, digital roofing innovations. And also, I know that it's kind of hard to watch all the video, but it really helps out the channel a lot if you watch the entire video. So just for a little eye candy, I've got Angie with me. So she's gonna help keep your attention through the entire video. Thank you, Angie. So if you get tired of talking to me, please don't fast forward and just look at pretty Angie. Now, a little bit about myself. My name is Zach Blankensop. I'm owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. So now you know exactly where you're getting your information from. Okay, with the lovely Angie, we are going to talk about 10 different types of roofing materials that you should consider for your next roof. Now, I'm going to list all these below. Again, I really hope you watch the whole video. First, we're going to talk about is a three-tab shingle. Second, we're going to talk about metal roofing. Third, we're going to talk about membrane roofing. Fourth, we're going to talk about green roofing or a green roof. Fifth, we're going to talk about wood shingles or cedar shake. Six, we're gonna talk about slate shingles or a slate roof. Seven, we're gonna talk about clay tiles or you might know it as a Spanish, uh, Spanish tile roof. Eight, we're gonna talk about concrete tile shingles and concrete roofs. Nine, we're gonna talk about stone coated steel metal roofs. And finally, we're gonna talk about solar tiles for number 10. Okay, so I said three tab shingle when I, when I went through the summary. Now I'm gonna throw a three tab and architectural shingles together. Now when I go through each one of these, I'm gonna talk about the cost, I'm gonna talk about the life stand, I'm gonna give you a real quick pros and cons. So when it comes to asphalt shingles or your three tab or architectural shingles, the cost is gonna range anywhere from 80 cents to about $5.50 per square foot. That just depends on what type that you buy, uh, where you live at, who's installing them of course, and where you live at, all that comes into play. Now the lifespan is typically anywhere from 15 to 50 years. Uh, that's what we typically see with this type of shingle. And then the pros is it's easy installation. It's very easily available. You can get these anywhere. The cons are these aren't the longest lasting roofing systems. They are gonna expire at some point, especially if you end up living in your house your entire life. You are gonna have to get your roof replaced at a minimum of one time. All right, so next we're gonna talk about are a metal roofing system. So whether they're metal, I'm not gonna throw in metal shingles right now because when you get into metal shingles, we're really talking about stone coated shingles. So we're gonna talk about that later on in the video. What I'm really talking about is your corrugated uh, or, or R panel type of roofing system and standing seam. So typically these are gonna cost you anywhere from $2.80 all the way up to $10 per square foot. Uh, but these systems are gonna last a very, very long time. We see with a metal roofing system, you're typically gonna get these to last anywhere from 30 to 60 years. Uh, again, it just depends if you get a co if you get a copper standing seam system, it could you know exceed 60 years even. Uh, but if you get a you know fairly inexpensive R panel roof installed over an asphalt shingle, you you know maximum lifespan you're probably going to get is around 30 to 40 years. But if we're you know kind of just eyeballing this, we're going to say it's anywhere between you know 30 and 60 years. Now, of course, some of the huge benefits with metal, uh, particularly if you don't live in an area or if you live in an area with a lot of hill, but you don't get a lot of wind. You may have a metal roof last forever. I mean, there again, these are going to last a very, low, very long time. A lot of people love the aesthetic look of a metal roof, and they also enjoy if you have a, uh, a shallow attic, they enjoy the, the sound that rain makes whenever you have a metal roof. Of course, some of the cons are if you don't like that sound, uh, they can be a little noisy. Uh, metal can be obviously a lot more expensive than an asphalt shingle type of roof, and there's less contractors that install metal roofing than they are asphalt shingle. All right, so number three, we're gonna talk about membrane roofing. Now, membrane is going to 1,000% be used on a flat roofing type system or a very low slope. So whether we're talking about TPO, EPDM, uh, we're not gonna add roll roofing in, in this because roll roofing is just something that's not very used very often. Uh, but any type of you know higher end systems, uh, PVC, uh, this is what we're talking about with mem membrane roofing. Now, this can cost you anywhere from $3 all the way up to $20 per square foot. Uh, again, it just depends on where you live at, on how much it's going to cost, and what system you're installing. Now, the lifespan of this is typically anywhere from 20 to about 40 years when it comes to membrane roofing. Now, 
This can also determine on, or, or depend on where you're living at. Sometimes you live in a really stormy area with a lot of storms that come through and a lot of hell. They may not last as long versus if you live somewhere uh, that's a little bit cloudier, maybe the, the, the sun doesn't beat on your roof as much and there's not a lot of storms that'll obviously last longer than that. Now, the pros to a membrane roofing system especially on a low, pro, a low slope is, well, that's what's supposed to be installed. Uh, you want to have a membrane type. Some of the uh, old roofing systems that went on flat roofing, like built up roofs, um, you know, tar and gravel. Uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of different older flat roofing styles. They just didn't, that, that, a lot of them still last a long time, but they're very expensive to do. They require a lot of maintenance. A membrane system is going to uh, be a lot less maintenance and a lot of times you can just replace a section of a membrane roof instead of having to replace the entire thing. So the maintenance costs are significantly lower on a membrane roofing system and a lot of them even offer uh, protection against uh, sun and they have reflectivity and things like that so it can help with some of your energy cost. So one of the, this is a roofing system that is very very it's starting to become a lot more common and a little controversial in a lot of areas is a green roof. Now, green roofs are very expensive. You're going to spend anywhere from about $10 to $20 per square foot. So they're uh, quite expensive uh, and the lifespan is only about 30 to 50 years. Now, of course, the advantage of a green roof is that you're helping the environment. Uh, so a lot of these green roofs they have plants installed on them. Uh, there, there's, a, there's a lot of options on installing a green roof but you know on this video I'm here to tell you if you're wanting to install this on your roofing system that you're gonna have to understand that it is gonna be significantly more expensive and the lifespan is not gonna be nearly as long as what you're gonna get on a premium roofing system but again if you're wanting to help the environment and also have a roof that doesn't leak together well green roof is definitely where you want to go <clears throat> all right so number five we're gonna talk about wood shingles now, wood shingles cost any, anywhere between five and eight dollars per square foot. It can be as high as ten, but the price range is typically going to see it five to eight dollars a square foot. The lifespan is typically going to be fifteen to fifty years. The reason it's as low as fifteen is they're installed in an area where you're really not supposed to have wood uh, wood shingles or cedar shake. They're not going to last very long, so uh, that's why the number is pretty low on the lifespan. Now, what are some of the pros and cons? Well, some people just love the aesthetics of a wood shingle or cedar shake roof, particularly if it's out in the country or you have a gable style roof or even a mansard style roof. I mean, some of the wood shingles and cedar shakes just look amazing. So the aesthetics is definitely a pro. And then of course, if they're installed in one of the right areas, they're gonna last a very, very long time. These typically, you know, places in the uh, far Northeast or where it's cold, uh, you're gonna see wood shingles and cedar shakes a lot and they're very available in those areas. Now the cons are if they are installed in areas that really not supposed to be, again, the lifespan is gonna be very, very low. And then also not only are they gonna be very low, you can actually pay quite a bit in those areas for the wood shingles so, uh, or the cedar shake. So that's one of the cons of the wood shingles or cedar shake type of roofing systems. Okay, slate roofing or slate style shingles. Now slate's been used forever, so you guys have probably seen these before. Now the price is pretty expensive. You're gonna pay anywhere from $8 to $14 per square foot. The number could get higher if you've got a really steep uh, or a really high roof that you're installing these on, like maybe a commercial building or a university. Uh, it can be a little bit more than that. Now, the good thing about these is they last anywhere from 60 to 150 years. Of course, we're talking about natural slate uh, here and we're not talking about the synthetic slate. So the lifespan is almost unmatched when it comes to a slate style roof. I mean, we've seen these things, like I said, last more than a century. We're talking about 150 years on some of the lifespan of these or, or even longer in, in the right situation. Now the pros are lifespan. Uh, they're very, very durable. They're very resistant against hail, wind, anything like that because the, the, the shingles are very heavy. So just think of this as like, uh, this is like the tank of the roofing systems. Now, of course, if you're going to talk about the, the, the tank, you understand that they're going to be quite expensive. So if you, you know, are installing this on a roof that you're not planning on living forever, yes, it's going to increase the value of the home, but also know that this is going to be one of the most expensive roofing systems that you install. So uh, the cost is very high. It's very hard to find crews to install these because they have to be done right. And sometimes it can be difficult to find material. Okay, number seven, we're going to talk about clay tiles. So clay tiles are typically going to range anywhere from $10 to $18 per square foot in the U.S. and Canada. Uh, again, it can be a little bit more expensive than that, but that's about what you're going to be paying for these. The lifespan is going to be over 100 years. Now, these, these clay tile roofs last forever. Uh, they're awesome to, to install because the lifespan, they're going to last long term as long as a, a slate roof 
probably not, but the lowest lifespan is, is a little bit higher than what you're gonna get with the slate roof, just because the clay is gonna be, again, normally a minimum of 100 years on these. Now, similar to slate, the pros are long lifespan, they look awesome. I mean, the aesthetics of a clay or a slate roof is just unmatched. I mean, they're just, they're just fantastic to look at. Um, and again, this is kind of like your, your tank roofing system. You know, it's, it's gonna last forever. Now, again, the cons are very similar to what it is with, with slate. Besides, clay actually breaks a lot too when you're installing it. So you have to make sure your installers are being very, very careful with it. You can't really walk on it after it's installed. It, it, it can really damage the roof. So once it's up there, you can't really get up there and, uh, and walk up there and things like that. Uh, again, the availability is a little bit less than what you're gonna see with any type of roofing system. They're, they're harder to find. And of course, finding good crews and good contractors to install this is very difficult. So if you are wanting to install this roofing system, make sure that you got the right person to install it. All right, number eight, we're gonna talk about concrete tiles. Now this is roofing system has became more and more popular over the last few years. You're seeing more and people, uh, more and more contractors pushing this to install it. You're also seeing more homeowners want it. So we've been getting a lot of questions about uh, concrete tiles. Now the cost is in between $3, $3 and $5 per square foot. So it's very reasonable in price and it lasts anywhere from 50 to 100 years. Now, of course, with the pros, they're, they last a long time. They're easy to, I mean, it's easy to get concrete. So that's why the material cost is low and they look great. I think the concrete tiles look awesome. So the aesthetics are really good. Uh, again, this is like a tank style roofing system. Anything that's gonna last 50 to 100 years is a, is a very durable roofing system if installed properly. Now, the, the cons are you have to make sure that your decking, your rafters, everything can support the, the weight of a concrete tile roof. Now, that can be an issue and the problem is a lot of times you have to do a lot of work before you install the concrete tiles. So that's something to keep in mind. And then just like with the other roofing systems that last a long time, you have to find the right contractor. If you get the wrong contractor installing your concrete tiles, just like with the others, it's gonna be a huge waste of money. So to make sure that you're getting the right contractor out to install these. Number nine is stone coated steel. So you have stone coated steel shingles. This is actually one of my favorite roofing systems to install. And a lot of people don't do it for some reason. Decra is one of the, uh, you know, one of the manufacturers that make fantastic stone coated steel shingles. And again, I think it's a great roofing system that just a lot of people just don't know about and don't install, but it's kind of like one of those, to me, it's kind of like the secret of roofing. But anyway, so the cost is in between $1.85 and $4 a square foot typically. Uh, again, it can be a lot higher than that, it can be a lot lower depending on who you, who's installs it and what materials you use, but that's our, that's our um, it's kind of our, our stretch of what, uh, what it costs. Lifespan is typically 40 to 70 years. So again, these last just like they do a, a standing sea metal roofing system. They last forever. So 40 to 70 years is typically what you're gonna see. Now the pros, again, long lifespan, it's metal. So if you enjoy the metals, uh, all the stuff I talked about, the metal, the same thing applies for stone coated steel. Um, now, of course, some of the cons are, again, you have to find the right contractor to install it. And two, you gotta, you gotta make sure that you're getting the right material uh, from the right manufacturer. So again, it's not as, since it's not as common, it's a little bit harder to find this. All right, so last we're gonna talk about our solar tiles. Now, again, these have been getting a lot of love lately because of Elon Musk. You know, he's been rolling out his, I believe it's Solar City is what he calls it. So anyway, you have your solar tiles. Now these are very expensive to install. So we're talking about anywhere from 20 to $25 per uh, square foot. So that's very, very expensive. And the lifespan, you know, there's been a lot of talk about how long they're supposed to last for. Uh, I think it's gonna be about 20 to 30 years. They've trumpeted saying it's gonna last 50 years, but uh, I think 20 to 30 years is a good rule of thumb. Uh, you know, so the pros is, is it's really cool technology. I, th I think that uh, anybody who's a believer in advancing the human race and, and cares about our, our planet obviously uh, thinks that this is a great idea. Um, so it's a really cool concept. Obviously, you're going to be the envy of your neighborhood if you have the cool solar shingles, uh, particularly if Tesla comes out and installs it. Obviously, all that stuff's going to look really, really cool. Uh, but some of the cons are, you know, this is a new technology, so we don't know how it's really going to hold up. We don't know how long these roofs are going to last for yet. We don't really know. They, they claim how much, you know, they're going to save on electricity and stuff. But this is all stuff that we're, that we're new. So just know that you're going to be paying top dollar for these and we really don't know how this you know, technology is gonna go in the future and how well they're gonna last for. Okay, so those are the 10 roofing materials that we suggest taking a look at for your next roof. 
Again, guys, I really appreciate you watching the video. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you haven't subscribed to Digital Roofing Innovations yet, here's your official invitation to subscribe to the channel. We got great content. We got a lot of hot girls in the video, so I hope that helps a lot. And remember, at Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values. Hey, 